Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Plants vs Zombies playthrough. Last episode we finished Survival Night, this episode we're surviving at the pool, which should hopefully not be too difficult. Now actually I'm not going to bring pumpkins, I'm going to do a different strategy for Survival Pool. The main premise is going to be roughly the same, but the middle of the pool is going to be a little bit different, as we're going to be using cattails today, one of the most powerful plants in the whole game. Cattails are an upgrade for your lily pads, and well, they're not as powerful as um, the fire pea strategy, but I will be using them on this level as well as the fog levels, because in the fog level it's a bit too difficult to use the P strategy due to just, well, how quick the, um, the zombies spawn and the fact you cannot generate sun fast enough. The other thing I want to say as well, the mobile version of Plants vs Zombies royally messed up because they got rid of survival mode, which is my personal favourite mode of this game, and they decided to replace it with Last Stand, the mini game you did where you had a bunch of sun and then had to spend your sun wisely. To make matters worse, you didn't even get to pick which plants you had, they gave you a selection. So some levels were really easy, where they just gave you a nice group of plants to use. Such as on Last Stand the Day, where you just got to use pretty much the same strategy I used on this playthrough. But Survival Fog was awful, because they gave you no good plants to work with. Like, your main damage were Scaredy Shrews which is just terrible, because they're absolutely bad compared to using other things. And Survival Fog Hard was the absolute hardest level to complete, because you were forced to use an in-game item called Mallets, where it just let you whack the zombies for 10 seconds. Because it's a mobile game, they wanted to squeeze as much money out of you as they could, which was not cool. We're using a cattail here so I can show you what they do, because this actually gives protection to every single row. It just shoots a bunch of thorns and it will home in on the closest zombie to your house. Really, really useful plant. I cannot fathom how useful that is. And that's why I'll be using them on both this level, Survival Fall Hard, as well as Fog and Survival Fog Hard. Well, it's a very useful plant. Like, I've made it very clear. We're gonna get as many down as we can in the pool. Solid, we'll just put enough one down. That's really unlucky. 
I, if only I brought pumpkins instead of tall nuts, I could have saved it. That's going to take me a bit longer to get another one down now. Okay. Doesn't matter. We can make it work. We'll bring tall nuts this time now, though. Gatling peas, of course. We need torchwood and more cattails. Not going to bother with spike weed and spike rock till later. We're gonna get torchwoods put down this time. Again, doing the same strategy where I have two spaces at the end just so that the zombies don't immediately start eating my plants. Torchwoods this time, as I'm not going to be having any peas in the pool. Because we don't want to pee in the pool, of course. I don't think there are any dolphin tamer zombies yet, so we should be okay on that. the same as survival night at the moment. Wait, I don't need tall nuts. I'm not putting any tall nuts in the pool actually, I'll just have cattails all the way up to the start of the level. Did I get all the tall nuts down? No, I didn't. I need them anyways. Torchwoods are all down. Peters. Oh, I think I can start putting some spike weed down. I need more cat towers, of course. There goes my phone again. Again, other than the pool level, the rest of this is just the same strategy. Uh, the fog levels, though, that's where it's going to change a lot. I will not be using peas for the survival fog easy, because there's no point. Because by the time you can set it up, it's already going to be flag free. So there's just no real point in me really doing that same 
distracts me. Why am I not putting down the stuff? Wow, that was really quick. We're already on the next wave. Damn, another unlucky score. I think I think that's the I don't like why my phone always decides to double send the same message. Because it just did it again, so that's another noise that's now going to pop up on the recording. I know it does, because every time I watch a video back, I can hear it. Because my phone is so stupidly loud for some reason, even though I put it on silent mode. Alright, nice. And with that, I don't need repeaters this time. Oh. It's even easier than last time, that doesn't make any sense. It's just more pumpkins. This is just going to be so quick to finish this now. This might be my shortest survival video. But I am slowly beginning to get the points. I need the... The plant that I want to get by survival roof card. So I need just a few more points. Actually, no, when I sell the cherry bomb, I'm going to have it now. So I'm actually okay now. Which is great because I can probably show it off in a survival pool. do survive quite a bit longer, but that shouldn't be a problem to see them. Just in the hope it won't. Snorkel zombies, not a problem. This is all I need, basically. Ha 
th this level has just probably been the easiest survival. And those of you who are curious, Survival Endless does take place on the pool, which was by far their best choice, because the pool levels are by far the best choice. Let's go check out El Zen Garden and see if that plant is ready. Yes it is, okay. So I know I really should cut this out, but I want to show you just how much money you make off of these Zen Garden plants. Oh, it would help if I didn't miss. But if you try and sell it now, 5,000, which is still quite a lot and it's more than the marigolds, but I think we can both agree that would rather just get it a bit more pricey or sell it for a little bit more and if you grow it to the full stage it should be worth 8,000 and the fact that these are given to you for free as well but the only downside is they're not as reliable to get but luckily this will put me over the 20 grand that I need for the the plant that I want to get and then the last one is I will still show it off but it's going to be removed pretty quickly from the survival mode that I show it off in just because it's pretty much useless and they give you two grand as well forgot about that yeah you can have that for but anyways oh there's two that I, I need this one actually damn it I forgot about that I need that for the next level this is the one I wanted to buy. I guess I can grab this as well now. Okay, that's not a problem. I just need to get another 7,070 gold. Easier said than done. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and hope you have a fantastic day.